All right, folks, it's day five of our vacation. Today we're gonna to enjoy a day on the Mississippi River here in St. Genevieve, Missouri. Uh, fish for everything, whatever bites, but if I want anything more than anything, it'd be flathead and blue cat. Um, what we're gonna do is walk up this bank right here and go out to the very end of the rock dike not a real long one compared to some of them but it's it will be deep enough and there'll be a scour hole right there um, anytime you fish the Mississippi when it's this low like this that's where you want to go because when you fish from the bank you might only be fishing in four to seven feet of water and not even know it and you're gonna catch a bunch of little drum and and gar and stuff you go to these rock dikes also called wing dams uh, what it is is all that water is going around the end of that dike and it swirls and it creates a scour hole and an eddy and those are typically At least 20 foot deep almost every one of them is at least 20, but I've seen them go all the way up to 120 foot deep so, so they vary in between that depth Just by looking at this one. It's probably 20 to 30 foot deep because it ain't, ain't that long of one But it's still decent uh, for for this river uh, the one over here across from us that would be a little shallower it's feel, it's so low right now that's usually an island ah, my battery went dead sorry about that as, as I was saying yeah that island or that uh, island is completely dried up and uh, the sandbar over there it's just it's the biggest I've ever seen it in many years uh, the river is good and low and it's actually you know, for the Mississippi being dirty, muddy all the time, it's actually kind of cleared up. Um, if it was a regular river, it would be clear enough to use lures. That, that's crazy to say, and that don't happen very often, but it, it ain't real bad. Uh, for instance, I can see the gravel a couple feet out and rocks and stuff, you know. It's, it's cleared up quite a bit. I've seen it a lot clearer, but I'm really... I think it's going to be a good day. The only downside I see is it's, it got a little warmer than we expected today. It's in the mid to upper 80s, but what can you do? We won't have any shade out there either, but it could be worse. At least it's not 90 or 100. Uh, I got to get the pole holders out. One thing I to do there. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then I want the scale and the tape measure too, yeah. I'm not going to worry about bringing any of these lines. Maybe one. This one and that one. We got plenty of line. We got four spools. Okay. Now I got everything. Okay. Someone has been fishing down here recently because there's a lot of the fork sticks sticking up out of the mud in the worm container down there. Now, I'm not saying you can't catch them right here, but you're not going to get the big boys, most likely. I feel better knowing I'm in at least 20 foot of water, as opposed to 5. I'm going to put new line on it anyway. But hey, that was a good bite. It looked like a carp or a drum, but still. Oh, it's a cat blue cat! You got another blue cat. Good job. I didn't even see you get it in. I thought he got hung up. That's a blue cat. Your second one. That ain't a bad one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, folks. We didn't even have this pole out for, for less than one minute and it already bit. It was the second pole I cast it out. I got one on the very end of the dike here out in the real swift scour hole for flatheads. And I put this one down a, a bit about in the middle of the dike here. And... It wasn't a matter of no time. And a blue cat's already on there. She caught her second blue cat ever. A little bigger than the one you caught at St. Francis. Give me that this man. Let's 
It's not a bad one. It's not big, but it's it's a good start. It's a good sign they're biting. Little, he's about two pounds. I'm gonna have to reline this pole. It ain't got enough line anymore. My God, these are some sharp hooks. There we go. All right, we're gonna put him back. We're not keeping anything today. Little two pound blue cat on the Mississippi River here at St. Genevieve. Love some blue cats. We're hoping to get blues and flatheads today and it, and it didn't take a matter of time. We're already getting what we wanted. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah! Got it! Holy crap! Folks, this fish pulled my pole in the water almost. I didn't even, the worm didn't even hit the bottom. I just casted it. Oh my god! He's got me hung up. Shit. He's got me hung up. Okay, he, got, he broke free. Did you see that? It wasn't even, I just set the pole down. I didn't even have the bell on yet. I didn't even set the bell on the re Folks, I didn't even, I was just getting ready to hook the bell up. Boy, they are biting this good. It, it literally just hit the water. Oh my God. It's a catfish too. It's a big blue cat. Oh yeah, we are on them folks. This is about a 10 pounder here. Oh, he's about 15. Oh my God. Yes, that's what we came here for. Yeah, what a beauty. Oh yeah. Make sure my camera's on and it's recording. Okay, good, good. Folks, I've never caught a blue cat this big that fast like that. Literally, it didn't even have, you seen that what I was doing, didn't you? I just threw it out, set the pole down and I grabbed the bell off the ground and the pole just flew down the hill. Did you see it? It flew down the hill. Two more seconds, I would have lost my whole rod and reel, folks. It was about to pull it in the damn water. Oh my God. Here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, he's about 12 pounds. It's not a bad catfish. They're biting good. Yeah, I got the scale. Yeah, the scale and the uh, tape measure. I don't. I don't. You don't measure them by the length. You just weigh them. It's in the backpack. We gotta pay attention to those other poles too. Boy, look at the slime he left on here. Oh. He engorged it too. Oh, he might go twenty or at least fifteen. Oh yeah. He's about 15 pounds. Oh, go get it, the one on the very end. The very end, the black one. It had a bite. I don't wanna lose my rods. Oh yeah, he's about 15 pounds, folks. That's a nice blue cat. I'm gonna weigh him here in a second. Let me get him off the hook first. I'm gonna have to get plenty of pliers. 
Yeah, I might not. I might be able to get this by myself. Don't know. No, I'm gonna definitely need pliers. Oh, I'm gonna have to slowly work him up the hill. Boy, that is a beauty. He's probably, yeah, he's about 15 pounder. At least 13. <clears throat> you need to put a bell on your pole. You need to put a bell on here. You're gonna end up losing this thing and put a rock on it where they can't pull it in. Okay, I, I need the pliers from the rock. So, and don't lose that bell I gave you. I have never gotten a catfish that quick like that, this big. It usually takes 10 minutes of patience. He hit it as soon as it hit the damn water. That is just a, a crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's not a small one. That's 15 pounds. I'm, that's my guess, 15. I'm going to unhook him first and then I'll weigh it. What you can do while I'm unhooking it is turn the scale on and get it ready. You'll have to zero it. My God. Wait, wait a minute. Don't lift the weight. Oh, that's okay. I need them all. Boy, glad I got durable hooks in line this time. He's probably 30 inches. He is about right there. I'll hold it. That's not right. Go on that. Yeah, it is. That's steel. Right here. Yeah, I am right there. 30 inches. My God. Okay, see if my theory's correct. I'm going to go 13 to 15. I'll give it a little range there, two pound range. I'm going to say 13 pounds to 15 pounds. Boy, he might bend that hook. I don't know if this works. Yeah, it works. If not, I got a battery. I got one more dang battery. It keeps turning on when, for no reason when I'm throwing the backpack down and stuff. I can't get this hook. I already bent the hook. Got it. Okay. I don't lose them. Put a bell on your pole and give me one to put back in my pocket. <sighs> Keep an eye on it. It should, but it probably turned on again for no damn reason. It keeps doing that, and then it dies. Let me reel this up. My God. Oh, you put like that, if you jump in over there, you cannot read it. Okay, huh. Good, that saves us the time. God, there's enough boat traffic. Jesus Christ, three boats. You hit zero. Where it says zero, that levels it out. Yeah, okay. Let me see it. Okay, it's working then. Okay. We're going to get a weight on this fish, folks. It might be hard. I have to poke a hole in him. Oh, there we go. He is nine ten I got it okay nine pounds 13 ounces so he's two ounces shy of ten pounds Wow what a beauty now you got to put the back back on there oh 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 man Okay, I'm going for it. He's on there. Oh my God.
So he's just two ounces shy of 10 pounds. Still decent. We're getting more bites over here than on the end of the dike where we should be getting them. But I could be hung up. That's well, the scale's accurate. It's accurate. No, it's, it's only 10 pounds. I overjudged it a little bit. This is either the Mississippi Queen or the Delta Queen here, it looks like. This boat, honey, that's the Mississippi Queen or Delta Queen. It'll say on it. Missed it. All right, you're gonna need a new worm. And what you need to do with this one, honey, cast it that way. That way it ends up in front of you because your weight's not big enough. We can go ahead and put it back away. All right, folks, we're gonna get him back in the water. That way it's okay. And uh, beautiful blue cat right here. Boy, this is what we came after and it didn't take us long once we got our pole setting out. So that's a good sign. We still got several hours left. So hopefully we get into a, some more of them, uh, maybe even bigger than this and some flatheads as well. So I don't, yeah, that's queen of the Mississippi is what it says. Well, I'd like to be on there for vacation instead of over here on the bank. <coughs> that is a beautiful blue cat by anybody's standards, boy. <laughs> All right, let's get him back in. Oh yeah, he'll be all right. I gotta get that nasty slime off my hands now. Yeah, but why is it? Yeah. I got it. All right, folks. It's a little one, whatever it is, real small. It's right here, right by the rocks. It's a drum. <laughs> uh, and hey, guess what he did? Swallowed the hook. Really bad. Ah, uh, got a dang drum, folks, and he swallowed the hook. <clears throat> Big time swallowed the hook bad enough where I'm just gonna have to cut it tie a new whole new hook on <sighs> boy that's all right. I wanted to get rid of that line anyway that was my old line <sighs> I'm gonna throw him back in <sighs> little guy real little <sighs> ouch Folks, we had a lot of action that first 10 minutes. We started casting the first two poles out, and then it just died. I got seven rod and reels out now. One, two, the one down there, three, four, five, and the two on the end, six, seven. All with 30 pound line, bells, big catfish hooks, and it's just, just like the last hour has been nothing that one little drum I had one little bite and I got to it too late it's just maybe the time of the day hopefully they they have another feeding cycle right before dark um, I got as many poles as I can get out except for one I ain't even worried about fixing up there's really not enough room for eight on this short dike like this yeah, it's just we definitely got them out it's just a matter of them wanting them I'm just letting them set. I'm not even checking them except once an hour to make sure the worm's still on them or they ain't hung up. Amazingly, we've not gotten hung up yet at all. I don't know. We're just getting real lucky, so I'm not losing the weights and, and hooks and not stretching my line out. It's a really good thing. I bought two spools of Berkeley Big Game, and I haven't even had to use the one yet. I still got some on the first spool. I was able to fill all seven of these poles up with 
595 yards, so it's a good thing. I got plenty of spare line. Just sitting here waiting it out right now. Relaxing a little bit. Well, that wraps up our day. Uh, I'm gonna have to say I'm disappointed in the least because, uh, you know, I caught that giant 10 pound blue cat within the first 10 minutes that, that I was here. But as soon as I threw my line in the water, it took me 10 minutes to get my poles lined up. And it was as soon as it hit the water and then she caught, she caught the little blue cat right there in the beginning, both of them, and, uh, plus another small blue cat under a pound. Three blue cats in the first 15 minutes that we's here. And then for five hours, we get absolutely nothing except one small drum and two more of those tiny blue cats that are like five or six inches. So I don't understand what happened, why they were... Uh, the one thing I think of is when I casted that out, it must have landed on his head and I just got really lucky because if you remember back, I didn't even have my bell on the end of the pole yet and he had already pulled my pole almost clear in the water. I uh, had seven poles, went to a lot of trouble. Just all in all, just at Walmart, um, I spent $50, almost 60, because I bought four containers of worms. I bought a bunch of uh, two ounce weights, which are about a dollar a piece. I bought two spools of Berkeley Big Game. Uh, I bought a, some real uh, good quality catfish hooks. And then I had to get ice, gas, drinks and snacks. You know, you, it, I think that's what's disappointing is when you go to all this trouble and you stay all day and you just get one good fish, all the, the effort and money and time that you put into it. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I would have been better off just on a sandbar. Maybe the fish were more feeding more in the shells instead of in the scour hole. It, it's just one of them things you you just don't know if you could have done any better or not. But it makes you wonder because uh, I know a few good sandbars that I've always done good, and I, I would have rather caught ten three to five pound channel or uh, blues and flatheads and. Uh, at least gotten some carp and some other rough fish. I didn't get really anything. I mean, this was a lot of effort really for nothing. Still had a fun day and it was nice and relaxing. Uh, real quiet and peaceful. So at least I did get the, the big blue cat that I got. Um, so now she kind of understands what kind of how cat, what big catfish are capable of in this river. It was probably the biggest one she had ever seen. I really should have let her reel it in 
if I would have known I was only going to get that one, I would have because my goal after that, I kept telling her I'm going to, the next one, I'm going to set the hook and let you battle it in because I really want her to get something like that. I've, I've had my whole life to catch. Uh, I've caught several, you know, 10, 20 pounders. So uh, maybe next time, uh, hopefully next fall, it'll be, look like this. Um, it's tomorrow. We're going to the coal mines over in Illinois. It'll be our last day of vacation. Then we're leaving the following morning. We're going to get up and head home. And it's been a, a good week, but it flew by really fast. And I just wish I could do it all again and know what I knew now. And don't all of us. Um, you know, I made some bad judgments where to go certain days. Or they just weren't biting certain days. So all you can do is try and give it your best every time. All right, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.